All right, coach, following a 67-40 victory to give you a second straight win on the weekend, um, just give us an opening statement about today's game with Bryant. Yeah, I thought we looked a little uh, rusty in the first half. Um, I, I really liked how we came out in the second half. And uh, similar to yesterday, we were really efficient with our offense. Uh, we took better care of the basketball. We took our time and got some finishes. Um, on a day where we, uh, you know, shot the three uh, a little better, got some more looks there. Uh, we still were able to get to the paint quite a bit. And while we gave up a lot of offense rebounds, I thought we we did a pretty good job of contesting a lot of shots and not giving away a lot of scores. So uh, I thought there was some really good improvement there as well. You know, save the first quarter of today's game. This weekend, you shot the ball extremely well as a team. Just talk about uh, what you guys are focusing in on in practice and, you know, how your offense looks to you. Well, our, our kids doing a great job of, of getting each other to where they're good. Um, they're, they're really doing a good job of knowing how to help each other get to where they're good at shooting and, and doing what they need to, to, to get the ball there. And, um, and, and then people are ready. People are ready to, to knock down those shots. We're, we're doing a better job of getting to the rim rather than fading away or settling and, uh, you know, we're making one more pass or one more screen or one more paint touch. So we're getting pretty good looks. You know, Mary and Alyssa were great. Uh, Chanel Williams really looks confident um, in her shooting ability and running the offense. Uh, talk about Chanel's play in particular, just because we have her with you today. Yeah, I thought she did an incredible job in the second half. I, I thought she really, uh, she's done a great job all year of organizing us and, and running the offense. She's worked so hard on her shot and uh, deserves to be confident with it and, and really is picking the right spots and got a good, did, did a good job going downhill and really turned up the defense in the second half. I think that established things even better the way she ball pressured and, and was able to, to create some havoc there versus the ball screen. And, and I thought that set the tone for us on the defensive end, especially in that third quarter when we were able to uh, get a little more of a cushion. Has that been a focus for you guys to get her more involved in the three point shooting? Uh, we all know that she can take it to the basket and she's going to be a tremendous threat moving forward, especially in league play, if she can continue to knock that down. Yeah, she will. I mean, she'll, she'll keep knocking it down because she works really hard at it. So, um, you know, it, it's something she's worked at. So she, she deserves to be confident with it and, and her teammates uh, see her confident with it and, and know the time she's put in. She knows the fix too. She knows how to correct. And that's when, when you really know you're pretty good at, at shooting the ball. So, uh, you know, it's going to continue because she's, she's worked really hard at it and she's not one that'll stop working. Mike, you've got anything? Yep. Uh, coach, on the defensive end today, obviously you guys did extremely well, limiting them to just 29% shooting. Um, what was uh, the key to really holding the Bulldogs down today? Well, I thought we did a pretty good job of being in lanes, not allowing a lot of direct to the rim uh, baskets. Uh, I, I thought we we gave away a few threes, especially in the first half, and I think just one in the second half where we didn't have a high hand. Um, so, you know, I, I think we didn't allow them to get many shots that were, were clean in the paint without us contesting them. And that's what we try to do. You know, that's always our goal is to, to limit the number of easy scores. We did not do the job we're capable of rebounding, especially as the game went on. I thought we were pretty good early faded on that, but um, you know, it's early. So we know there's always going to be things to work on. Also coach before the game, we talked about how consistency is going to be a key uh, really as a theme for this whole season. How did you feel your team was consistency wise from the first quarter through the end of the game? I thought today we were okay. I, I, I thought we needed a little push to be as, as consistent as we were yesterday. Um, you know, and, and, and for whatever reason, it, there, there isn't one. Uh, we just we just had needed a little bit of a push there. I thought our, our upperclassmen, especially our seniors, really helped us with that. I, I thought uh, specifically Chanel and, and Coop really helped us uh, make sure we, we were staying at the level we're capable of, uh, no matter the score or the day or the, the thought of fatigue. So um, I, I thought we made some strides that way, which I was I was happy to see. Also, Coach, three games in five days to open the season after not having really any live competition besides scrimmages. How do you feel your team has performed in those opening three games? <laughs> you know, we, we've, we felt it was so easy. We're going to try three and four days next week. So um, I thought they've been really good. You know, they, again, we, we talk all the time about it doesn't matter who, when, where, you know, there's a way we're capable of playing and we need to do that every day. And that's what we're pushing for. And um, I thought they did a good job of responding to that today. And, and uh, you know, a, a high yesterday and a high level win and uh, able to, to come in and, and show some experience and, and do what they needed to take care of business today. Coach, do you think there's a different sense of urgency 
with this team. You know, you can look on ESPN.com and see, you know, a myriad of teams being shut down due to COVID. Do you think that they are looking at that and thinking, you know what, we need to make every game count? It's a good question. Um, it's probably a better one for Chanel, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I, I think, and this is just guessing, I think they appreciate the, the chance to play. I think they appreciate all that the school has done to give them that opportunity. Uh, I think they really appreciate being together and, and competing. So, um, you know, I, that's an interesting way to say a sense of urgency. Uh, I, I think there's a sense of appreciation um, to, to do that. And, and, and I, I think they feel a little bit of a responsibility to show that appreciation uh, with, with their effort and their execution. Okay. We'd be happy to take questions with Chanel. All right. Hey, Chanel, great job today. Um, you know, you, you, you probably heard us ask coach about your confidence level, especially with your outside shooting ability. Tell us a little bit about your preparation heading into the season and what it's been feeling like for you on the floor to be as consistent with your shot as you have been through these three games. Um, I think no one coming into the season with only 10 players, there is more for everyone to do. Um, so I really prided myself during the summer and during quarantine to try to get myself better in all aspects. And I know shooting um, is not one of my greatest abilities. So I prided myself uh, this year to get myself better at that um, and get myself more open and, and free on the court to doing things outside of uh, what people expect me to do. You know, and you're, you're a senior this year, uh, you've been through it. So you have the experience to run this team. Has your mindset changed at all going into this season and during these games while you're leading your team as the point guard? Um, definitely have to be a major uh, part in, in the team. I play a key role. So I have to be a leader all the time. Um, sometimes I'm a little down, but I have to think about the team first and me second. So um, I'm a leader on the court and I have to be a leader off the court. So nothing's changed. It just has to, I just have to be more and do more. You know, you're, you're definitely quick. You've got a lot of speed, but has the game slowed down for you through all of your experience? Yes, I feel like the past three years, I was very fast paced. Um, I didn't know how to contain my speed. Um, I feel like this year I'm trying to uh, harp on being more patient, being more confident and definitely being more aggressive. So. Those are kind of my goals for the year. Those are what I'm kind of proud of myself to do better. You know, last question for me, Mike. I, I know Mike probably asked some questions, um, but what I had asked Coach, is there a different sense of urgency, and, and he calls it appreciation, when you're going into each game this season, when you know that you know at any given point you guys could get shut down? Um, you know, We're through three games. A lot of teams can't say that. So how as a team are you approaching this? Um, definitely, we had talks about it. Um, some of us were still kind of shaky because of the pandemic and things are going on and still worrying about our families back at home. But now since we got that win yesterday, we're feeling, not that we're feeling more appreciative, but we're definitely willing to want to keep going, um, keep winning and um, doing it for those who, who can't play right now, who are in quarantine and wishing they were in our, uh, our position as of right now. Well, obviously you guys got off to a later start this season than ever before. Probably felt like you guys were practicing forever, didn't really have any live competition outside of yourselves. How do you guys feel now, having played three games in five days and including two victories? Uh, we feel good. Um, we're definitely tired, but we're still willing to push through it. Um, Coach Har Harps on uh, having to work through fatigue. Um, the best way to do it is just to stay together and um, keep communicating with each other the best we can and keep pushing each other to be the best we can be. Definitely. And now going back again to your outside shot, like as we've talked about, you know, you weren't really known as an outside shooter your first three seasons here, but already five of six on the year. And, you know, it, it really seems like you're becoming a factor on the perimeter. What specifically did you do in the off season to really work on that three point shot? Um, definitely try to do muscle memory. Um, even if I'm tired, keep trying to push through it. Uh, if I'm shooting 10 shots, make sure I get six out of 10 or uh, uh, 10 out of 20. So um, I definitely try to keep getting muscle memory with my shot. And I feel like it's uh, coming through. Um, 
for the past three games, and but I'm still not done yet. And we still haven't gotten to in-conference games. So I'm trying to uh, get myself together before uh, the real time comes. Well, thank you, Chanel, and congratulations on the win today. Thank you very much, guys.